uh, of this matchup is going to be the edge guard. The fact that Falco has a interceptable, mess with a bull recovery. We don't often see people do that. Uh, it can be tricky, you know, especially if you're not comfortable going off stage and contesting recoveries like that. But Mr. E absolutely is, to the point where, considering how consistent and devastating Tilde's combos are, I think Mr. E is going to have to make some offstage plays in order to guarantee himself a win. Yeah, and on the flip side, Falco can do drag down fair, which is also lethal versus Christina. Have him on the ledge, up tilt, misses the back air. Nice border. That was I so smart. That. Yeah, that was because, yes, he got hit by the forward smash, but he didn't die, and that's what counts. Okay, and there's that edge guarding that we were talking about. Able to go down there, and that up B is such a safe, perfect way of doing that. Uh, of course, there is the possibility that Tilde can tech, and I think probably we're going to be seeing more teching now that he knows he has to be wary of that particular option. Uh, but still, so safe and so effective for Lucina to just go off stage and do that. I like what Mr. E is doing. He's covering the ground, so it forces Tilde to go up high, and then he's catching his landings with like an aerial or probably a re-grab to get him off stage. Alright, F-Tilt gets him off stage. Oh, Alright, nice that's, yeah, good job. Recognizing that that kind of cost him last time, make sure to get the tech that time around. Okay, great job timing that up so that he doesn't get hit by the, the Lucina down air. But he needs to clean off the stock and up smash right in Mr. E's face will actually do it. I believe he just dropped shield right there. Okay, I, just, I can't believe that worked out for him. He went off stage to, because, like, you know, Mr. E's invincible, and that can be really scary. So, you know, you go to the ledge, like, you can have some invincibility yourself, but, like, willingly putting yourself on ledge against Mr. E, that's such a risky gamble. Little drag down, up tilt, up air. Didn't get anything out. That was good DI by Mr. E, and also good DI by Tilde. Wow, what a tech. He's making up for the fact he missed the first tech in this game. And I think he held down so he didn't get the untechable. You're right. All right, dies at 200. This is still doable for Tilde. Especially if he's able to have that consistency of staying alive. It, the thing is, when he's not being edge guarded, he's living to these crazy high percents. Perfect and Mr. Punish. E is not. Parries the forward air, gets an up tilt into Rar back air. I like that escape option. As Falco, when you're one of these characters that can be able to really like combo the trap, you have to be really creative with your disadvantage. And sometimes it means throwing out a riskier option, especially if the opponent's not ready for it. But it seems like now Mr. E is more prepared for that side B, being able to punish it the last few times. Whoa. Throw that off stage. Forward air is gonna be big for him. Mr. E on the ledge, another up tilt back air could be huge, but Mr. E doing a much better job of avoiding that this time around. Oh, gets a down air into back air. Needs Counter. a tech here. Oh my. Yeah, that was nice. so clean from Mr. E. You notice he specifically went behind him so that the counter would send him off stage, no chance to tech. And at that point with no jump, he's forced to side B and he just knows that, goes out there, meets him, yeah. and he finishes him off with a back air. Look at that, the way he was drifting behind. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, they're going to Kalos game two. Uh, this is a pretty good stage for Falco. He can actually like do drag down combos on the stage. And also he gains a wall jump. Yeah, he has a wall jump too. I think that's going to be really big for him. I mean, think about that position in the last game. If he had a wall to jump off of, that would not have happened to him. He would have been able to stall more. He would have been able to maybe get a little bit higher before uh, up being. So I think this is a really good stage counter pick. But no jump. No jump. Still hasn't made it back on. Oh, that might have saved him. That might have saved him. That might have saved him. Wow. I mean, he's still not out of the woods. He's you know, trapped on ledge, but he has a jump back, and he's now on stage. He might get some big damage. 
He has another sign of life. Oh, great job, Mr. E shielding every one of those forward air hits. So many people when they're unfamiliar with the matchup, especially. <gasps> he has no jump. Oh, the retaliation. Okay. I, I like that. I wasn't even expecting that. Using the wall jump to his advantage to get a forward air to pretty much counter edge guard him. All right, and finally, I think there's a forward smash to clean that last stock off. Yeah, I think he was trying to go for a nair drag down and then he jumped into it. What stages did Mr. E ban? I missed it. Uh, he banned Stadium and Battlefield. I think that, I mean, you know, of course he's still doing well, so I'm not going to question his stage counter pick. But that wall jump seems to be doing really good work for Tilde. Yeah, right there. He didn't have to deal with... Yeah. Look at this. He's able to play on the ledge so much better now. This is almost an even game. Yeah, he can do certain mix-ups like laser into fair. He's a jump. Okay, great job there. He kind of expected himself to get hit, but he got his jump back by landing on that top platform. That top platform, I think, is going to be the saving grace in this match. Overall, the disadvantage, even though we're like praising Tilde and his disadvantage, but he's just, Mr. E is doing a really good job of just staying ahead pretty much the entire time. Overextending. Oh, still gets a fair. I think he was sort of confident in his ability to not get com have that situation. He completely turned around on him. Oh, did he not get the wall jump? That looked very strange. So Mr. E up two stocks to one. I don't want to comment on this music that just sounds like the most anime outro ever. <laughs> All right. Mr. E doing a lot of nares and four dares just to space him out. He doesn't want him to get any drag down combos. But Mr. E is, is at that percent where he can get drag down uh, nair into up tilt into back air. Oh, and I forgot to mention... Uh, Mr. E actually has experience in this matchup. He plays Kofi a lot. That's right. And, you know, but of course, pretty much everybody has experience playing against Lucina. Yeah. The character is very common, but Mr. E is, of course, a different breed of this character. One of the best in the world at it, with pretty much no doubt in anyone's mind. <gasps> That's really big! Oh, he gets clipped by it! He oh, saves him as a result! Beautiful recovery from Mr. E, recognizing that he just needs to put himself in that place. Wasn't quite enough for him to get all the way back to neutral, but nonetheless, this is 56% onto Tilde. He's off stage though with no jump. I don't know if he got his jump back from that. He did. Oh, that's great for him. I think it really speaks to how effective Mr. E is at like ledge trapping and edge guarding. That when the opponent uh, gets his jump back, it feels like a victory for him. Yeah. Whiffs the grab, gets back air, and that's it. 2-0, Mr. E. But Tilde played very well. Just wasn't... Especially his disadvantage in that game, too. So good. But his his advantage state couldn't quite catch up with it, mm -hmm. you know? Like, he would get these hits and he would get good damage. But Mr. E would never fall to, like, these 0-100, to 0-death to combos. Yeah. And as a result, you know, even though he's doing a really good job of getting back to ledge every time... He's taking like 80, 90% every time he's put there in the first place. 